Hey folks, it's Sydney from the Python open source team at Langchain, and I'm super excited to share with you another middleware demo video. This time we'll be talking about our model call limit middleware, which is one of our guardrail middlewares. So agents are so powerful because they are autonomous. They can make decisions, call tools, and take action. But that autonomy comes with risk. Inherently, those agents can go off the rails and call hundreds of tools and burn through API quotas. You, as a developer, want to make sure that your agent is only calling a model and tool so many times in a loop before returning to your end user, for example. And that's where Linkchain's model call limit middleware comes in quite handy. You can use this middleware to limit model calls either in a single invocation, so that's like sending one human message to your agent, or also across a conversation. Let's jump right in. All right, so we are looking at Langchain's new middleware documentation. We've got a great overview of general middleware, a list of all of our built-in middlewares, and then also a whole page on designing custom middleware. Let's dig into this pre-built model call limit middleware. So this can be used to limit the number of model calls for either a run or what we call a thread, which is like a conversation. So if you're trying to limit the number of model calls on a single run, what that means is when you send one human message to your model, so you're invoking your agent, that's the number of times the model can be called before returning to the end user. The conversational limit would limit the number of model calls across a whole thread. That's across many different invocations. So you can see we have a pretty simple API here. You can specify those thread and run limits. And then we also have this exit behavior, which if we toggle the configuration options section, we can see that that can either be end, which is a pretty graceful termination or error raising a model call limit exceeded error. Let's jump into some code to see this in action. All right, so for this demo, we are going to be building a customer service agent that uses a billing subagent. First, we define our runtime context. So in order for our customer service agent to be effective, it would be helpful to have the user ID associated with the user interacting with the agent. We have some mock data here, so user123 has some recent transaction history. And then here we work to define our billing subagent that our main customer service agent will use. So that billing subagent has access to two tools, a query knowledge base tool and a get user account info tool. Here's our definition for that billing subagent. It uses a small open AI model, has access to those tools, and then you'll note it uses the model call limit middleware with a run limit of two. And then we also have the exit behavior set to error here. Once our main agent has delegated to our billing subagent, we don't want it to run for a very long time. We want our subagent to be able to answer relatively simple billing queries. And so we can enforce that with this run limit of two. And when we invoke our subagent, as we'll see later, we can predictably catch this error and then escalate to a human if necessary. So here's that escalate to human tool. And then here's a tool that we're going to provide to our main agent used to delegate to our billing subagent. So we can see that we're actually invoking the billing subagent passing along that runtime context. And then we're also catching that model call limit exceeded error here. When we catch that error, we return a message indicating that the main agent should escalate to a human at this point. Finally, we have our main agent here. Again, small open AI model. It has access to two tools, that billing subagent delegation tool, and then our escalate to human tool, and then a simple system prompt in that context schema. This resembles a sort of supervisor architecture where we have our main agent here that is able to delegate to the billing subagent, but control always returns to this main agent. All right, let's invoke this agent via Langsmith Studio. All right, so first I'd like to ask our agent a simple question, probably that will involve the billing subagent, but it should be quite doable in just one turn. So I'm gonna ask, what's your refund policy? So here we see our main model has called the billing subagent tool, which returns with this result. And then we also see the final result from our main model. We can look at the trace view here as well to get a more detailed deep dive into the operations. So we see our model called the billing subagent tool, that then called the query knowledge base tool, 
which is where the refund information came from. And then we return to our main model. All right, in order to ask our agent specific questions, let's equip it with information about the active user. So I'm configuring a new assistant here with user ID 123. And that's the ID that matches our mock profile. Now I'm gonna ask our agent a question that's sort of meant to overwhelm it and see if we can trip those billing subagent limits. The inquiry is, I was charged twice, can you check my account and search the knowledge base for duplicate charge issues? All right, so this is the result we expected. Our billing subagent was overwhelmed and we can see it returns this tool message asking to escalate to a human agent. And then we see the escalate to human tool being called with an appropriate message. Let's look at the trace view. Great, so we can actually see exactly where the error occurred here. Our model calls the billing subagent, which first calls the get user account tool, then calls the get user account tool again, looks like it's struggling to get the information it needs. And then after that, we've exceeded our model call limit of two calls. We can see that error displayed here, model call limit exceeded, run limit two out of two. And then we also see that the escalate to human tool was called successfully. Though not demonstrated here, we could also add a thread limit, which would restrict the total conversational model call count if you wanted to make sure that your user could continue to interact with the agent, um, but only for a certain number of turns. Thanks for joining me for this quick demo of Langchain's new model call limit middleware, which is a great thing to implement as a guardrail in just a few lines of code to keep your agents on track. I'll see you in the next video.